Um, leading into the, the Terrence Crawford Earl Spence fight, um, people considered Earl Spence to have the better jab. Uh, Ter Terrence Crawford is on record saying he wanted to change his jab in preparation to that fight. He called it a sledgehammer jab. Mm. Uh, I've noticed that there are more than one types of jabs. Uh, can you explain them? And the uh, the you the proper use of them? Of uh, just that jab, or no, just every jab. So it's more of a it's more of a feeling. It's a feeling. So if you ever watch. Uh, Andre Ward, right? And he'd be shadow boxing. He turned it over and he placed it perfectly where all his knuckles is flat. He placed the jab. Oh, that's just like he trying to develop just like a sturdy jab. Mm -hmm. So when I when I give you this jab, you respecting my jab like it's a right hand. You know what I'm saying? It's not really fast, but it's not slow. Mm -hmm. It's at a good speed. He's sticking it. Boom. Boom. He just giving you a good jab. You got some guys. They just want to distract you. They just want to buy time. They want to be able to move on a different angle mm. behind it. Just, so they might give you the fast little, just something for you to look at. Where that's like a snake leg. It's, you've seen it, but you didn't see it. Got it out there real quick, popped you with it, but you didn't see it. It's Tyson Fury like to use that one. Mm. Shakur like to use that one sometimes. They just whip at you. You know what I'm saying? It's like seeing a flash. You know what I mean? That type of jab. Then you got guys who got like a repetitive jab where they might give you two or three, nothing less than two. Maybe two, three, four jabs. You know what I mean? Where that's just, I'm trying to slow you down. I'm trying to get some range. So I'm back here, I give you three jabs. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Notice he stepped back. That was smart. Now, if he would have stayed off the three, boom, boom, boom. Now he's giving me room to work. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? I can run my combination now. Um, you got sometimes where the shorter guy, like I was short sometimes because I'm a shorter guy and I was fighting at higher weights in the amateurs. 65, 52, shit like that. So I'm in there with a tall guy. He's shooting straight down the pipe. I'm down here. So I learned how to jab off the an angle. Wow. 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 You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm going to certain be funny as shit. <laughs> try to stop. You know, you know, I'm new to this shit. So the tutorial shit. So they going to try to steal it. No, I'm chilling. But look, so jabbing mm. off the angle, keeping that right hand in front of you, stopping straight shots. That was my fault. That's why he quit me. That was a good job, though. Um, <laughs> so, 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 that's how you jab when you're a shorter man. Um, but you got some guys, they'll stay on one side. They'll lock their legs. They'll just stick, boom. They'll just push. They hide behind their shoulders like George Bennett used to say. He ain't use a jab a whole lot. You know what I mean? Because he really fought. I think he just fought like that. He just felt comfortable like that. You know what I mean? So, he ain't use a jab a lot, but then from there, that's what he give you, though. He'll be down here, down here, boom. He'll give you a stiff jaw to the, to, the, to the arm, some shit like that. You know what I mean? It's different jabs. Um, Sometimes you see the Mexican boys, you work with some head, they just give you, know, wow. Wow, that's just, that just something for you to bite onto. Like, you know what I mean? He he He's seeing, he really watching. Mexican fighters, they really be looking for certain movements then they can get in between and hit you with a power shot. So I'm just going to feed you a jab just to really make you move to see which way you're moving. It's not really like I'm trying I'm trying to be super slick because I don't care. I'm not thinking about what you're thinking about. I'm trying to hurt you. You know what I mean? So a Mexican boy, they just give you a draw. They just, wow. They just walk back. Wow. You know what I mean? They're looking for that movement, that funny little opening. Once they find an opening, they start digging. You know what I mean? Um, You might get a guy from like Russia or something. They gonna need toes, and they just boom, boom, boom. They just trying to occupy time, find their range. They really don't be thinking about too much of what you're doing because they feet working. You got the feet working, you always get in and get out. So, man, boom, boom, boom. They just poke it to get you to slow down. Once you they see you start slowing down, you getting greedy. They gonna start touching you with shots. But then you might get him off from Cuban ball. He he give you the angles. He boom, 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 boom. They just try to drive you crazy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If I touch you on your hip, if I touch you on your shoulder, then I touch your forehead, then I shoot at your neck, then I'm back down to your belly button. I'm doing a. They just try to drive you crazy. You know what I mean? Get you to slow down. Get you fucked up in the head where all you want to do is fight. Now you want to score. You know what I mean, it's a lot of jabs. Um, like you said in the beginning, we was talking about butt, butt with the, what do you call it, a sledgehammer? Sledgehammer, yeah. So he trying to think about it, sledgehammer, what do they do? They crash, they, you know, they slam on shit. So it's like a right hand, again, it's a full orthodox fighter, it's like a right hand or from a southpaw, 
is like a, a, a left hand, but it's a, it's a jab. So slow his feet down. He gonna slow his feet down. He gonna plant his feet real good, so we can really feel the mat. Like he's really sitting into the mat, right? Mm -hmm. And then he just drop. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're making a sledgehammer too, though. Earl coming in. Earl falling in. So Earl falling in. He. He just running straight into his head, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Trying to punch through his head, though. That's what the slash him do, I break through shit. So he trying to break through you with a jab, you know what I mean? That's why the jab was so effective, because he wasn't expecting it, you know what I mean? You're not expecting somebody to do something like that. You're not even going to think about it, you know what I'm saying? So that's what, that's why game planning is so important. That's why fighters listening is so important. Breaking shit down is so important. But, you know, it's different. it, it depends on the style. Styles make fights. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it most depends on. But it's a lot of jazz to be used.